How you doing folks? Phil from Harris Automotive in Philadelphia, PA. I'm gonna show you how to set the timing on the Land Rover, Range Rover, Jaguars with the five liter um, Ford engine, supercharged or not. We have a lot of these that come into our shop for the timing chain and timing guide tensioner problems. And we run into issues sometimes if the timing move we're trying to figure out where the timing marks are. So we're gonna make this quick video to show you exactly how to set the timing and hopefully this can actually help you out. The first thing you're gonna need, um, vehicle up in the air, excuse me. You're gonna need the tool. It's a special tool that you, that you take out the crank position sensor and this slides into the bell housing. And once you do that, if you take a look right here, see that? All right, there's only one spot on the flywheel that this square, let's call it a peg, goes into. How you know it goes into it is that that's when the engine is at top dead center. Cylinder one is up, it's only gonna fit in one spot. So what you do, you just turn the crank slowly, and come on over, you turn the crank slowly, and again, you remove the crank position sensor. Take the crank position sensor out. This goes in place of that. As you turn the engine slowly, this tool will snap into place. If you're not at top dead center, when you try to put this tool in to have it go flush, it won't go, it'll stop. You'll be trying to wiggle it and it won't go in. But as soon as you find that particular spot that that fits in, that's gonna slide right in. For the sake of this video, we are already at top dead center. So now, if you come over here, I'm gonna show you the kit that we're gonna need. What you can do, now they make several different kits for this car. This is the one that we use. We bought it from Bomb Tools. You can make a note of this number here and you can just order it yourself. Prior to that, um, if you're involved in this job, we're not gonna talk to you about the total disassemble. If you're capable of doing this job, then we're just gonna give you a quick overview. First thing we have to do, take the, uh, the intake, the upper plenum off the intake manifold. You have several bolts. If you just go around, you show them, you just go around, you have all these bolts. Once these bolts come off, including these four here, you can lift your upper plane them up. Next, you're gonna have your supercharger still gonna be mounted in the car. Now, with the supercharger, again, these are the bolts that the plane them. These are your bolts that the plane them, that bolts down the plane them. Now, how you unbolt your supercharger, you got four bolts here. One, two, three and four and you have four more over here one two three and four now what's going to happen once you take these these eight bolts off you're still going to struggle to get this supercharger off you're going to have to get up under the bottom let me show you something you're going to have to get up under the bottom and what you're going to see these dial pins get stuck on top of the engine block they're going to be very tight so you're going to have to figure out a way what we normally do we get like a little pry bar and we just kind of play with it. Pull up on it up and down and then you'll see it'll start rocking and it'll come off. And like I said, we're not gonna talk about all the other stuff, valve cover gaskets, taking the injectors out. We ain't gonna get into all that. Now we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you how to set the timing. You can pause it. 